Hello students, welcome to online classes for the second year students of Kapte Graduate Student College Nursing Bed. Now students, the class number 23 and in this topic circuit, so exercise 1C, third woman, 10th problem. Find the equation of tangents to the circuit x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 3 is equal to 0. So, which makes an angle 45 degrees with the x axis. Yes. So, now, so we have to find out the tangent and equations to the circuits. The tangents are making 45 degrees with the x axis. Of course, yes, friends, this is the one of the rough diagram here. In this, so the x axis. And its center 2 comma 3. Yes, here this is the so one of the so circle and this is the tangent. It's a given that yes, your x axis x dash and y axis y dash. Here this is the center of the circle, of course, 2 comma 3. Here this is the one of the tangent. The tangent is making an angle theta is equal to 45 degrees with the x axis. That it is the inclination of the tangent line. Yes. So the line is making an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis. Then the angle is called inclination. Whenever so the tangent term so having the inclination, its slope is given by m is equal to tan theta. Of course, m is equal to tan 45 is equal to 1. Yes. So we have to find out the tangent line equations to this uh, so circuits. Here for getting the tangent line equations, first we have to write the given circle. Yes, the given circle equation. The given circle equation is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 3 is equal to 0. Yes, students, here from these circles we calculating the values, we compare this equation with the general form of the circle. Yes, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f5 plus c. From this equation, we have 2g is equal to minus 4. Here g is equal to minus 2. Here 2f is equal to minus 6. Here f is equal to minus 3. And c is equal to 3. Yes, and the um, radius of the circle here. Yes, the radius of the circle r is equal to root of here g square plus f square minus c. Here under root of g square is equal to minus 2 whole square 4 and f square is equal to 9 minus the whole square. Here c, here this minus 3. Yes, students here we know this. So 9 plus 4, 13, 13 minus 3, here 10, here root 10. The radius of the circle is equal to root 10. Now we have to find out the tangent and equations. Yes, the inclination, the tangent, the tangent making. The tangent making an angle theta is equal to 45 degrees with the x axis. With the x axis. Then we have to find out the slope of tangent. The slope of the tangent. The slope of the tangent here is equal to your tan theta. Your theta is equal to 45. Tan 45 is equal to 1. Yes. Students, we know this G, F and radius and the so slope of the tangent. The tangent line equation. The tangent line equations are here y plus f is equals to m of x plus z plus r minus r of root of 1 plus m square. Yes, the tangent line equations to the so circle. So having the here, yeah, whenever we know this G, F and the radius and the slope, the tangent line equation sum, so is given by the formula Y plus F is equal to M of, so X plus Z, plus or minus R of root of 1 plus M square. Here, yeah, substituting all these values in this, yes, Y, F is equal to minus 3, yes, minus 3. Here, yeah, M is equal to 1, or uh, X, Z is equal to minus 2, yes, minus 2. Plus or minus here r is equal to root 10. Root 10. And root of 1 plus m square here 1. m is equal to 1. 1 square. Yes, in this implication, yes, here y minus 3 is equal to x minus 2 plus or minus root 10 here root 2 here root 20. Yes. 
root 10 into root 2 root 20. Yes, writing these um, equations in orderly, yeah, we convert all these terms in RHS side. Yes, 0 is equals to x minus 2 minus y plus 3 x minus 2 minus y plus 3 plus or minus plus or minus root 20. Students, the tangent line equations to the circle which making 45 degrees with the x axis those are given by x minus y minus 2 plus 3 plus 1 here plus or minus root 20 is equal to 0. Here these are our required tangent line equations to the circles so which make an angle 45 degrees with the x axis. Okay students this is the, the question number 11 in third Roman exercise 1c. So find the equation of the circle passing through the point minus 1 comma 0 and touching the line x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0 at 3 comma 4. Here students this is the, the one of the rough diagram. Yes. So the circle passing through the points here a minus 1 comma 0 and also b 3 comma 4 yes and uh, the tangent line equation is that touches the circle at that point b 3 comma 7 yes the tangent line equation x plus y minus 7 yes friends we observe this yes 3 comma 4 is a point uh, on the circle and also the tangent line. Yes. So, for getting the circle equation, yes, students, we observe this the line segment joining the points A and B and the tangent line equations. Yes. So, for getting this, the points, the points on the circle. A is equal to minus 1 comma 0 and B is equal to 3 comma 4. Then slope. The slope of this line M1 is equal to slope of the curve joining the points A and B. Here M1 is equal to the difference between Y coordinates here. Yes. In this, so 4 minus 0 by 3 plus 1. That is equal to 4 by 4 is equal to 1. Yes. Slope of tangent. The slope of tangent line equation x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0 is m2 is equal to minus x coefficient by y coefficient here minus 1. Students, we observe this. The slope of the line side by joining the points a, b is 1 and the slope of the tangent at the point 3 comma 4 is minus 1. Yes, here m1 m2 is equal to 1 of minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Then the curve and the tangent are so both are perpendicular. So whenever these are the perpendicular means here, the line segment joining the points A B, so is the end point, these are the end points of the diameter of the circle. Yes. So therefore the equation, the equation of the circle the equation of the circle is x square plus y square minus x of x1 plus x2 minus y of y1 plus y2 yes so plus x1 x2 plus y1 y2 is equal to 0 yes friends here these are the two perpendicular the tangent is perpendicular to the diameter of the circle yes the line segment joining this point A and B, A, B is the diameter of the circle. Yes. So, here from this given points here, x1, comma, y1 here, x2, comma, y2. Putting all these values in this circle equation, x square plus y square minus x of x1 plus x2, minus 1 plus 3, minus 1 plus 3, minus y of y1 plus y2, here 0 plus 4, here plus x1 x2 product of the x coordinate minus 1 into 3 yes minus 1 of 3 plus product of the y coordinates 0 and anything here 0 yes students here finally the, the circle equation x square plus y square minus 1 plus 3 plus 2 here minus 2x here minus 4y yes minus 3 is equal to 0 here this is the our required circle equation so the circle is passing through the point minus 1 comma 0 
I'm touching the x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0 at 3 comma 4. This is simply is given by x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4 by minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, students, this is the question number 13 in third Roman exercise 1c. Yes, show that x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0, touches the circle x square plus y square minus 3x plus 7y plus 14 is equal to 0, find the point of contact. Yes, students, already we know this, here the condition for a line is to be a tangent to the circle is or is equal to d or radius of the circle d is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line if both are equal the line is said to be a tangent to the circle and uh, point of contact already we know this the point of contact coordinates here minus g plus l r square by l g plus m f minus n minus f plus m r square by l g plus m f minus n here now here this is the one of the rough diagram Yes, this is the circle equation and this is the tangent. Now we have to find out the line is said to be a tangent to the circle. Yes, from the given circle. The given circle. So the given circle equation is x square plus y square minus 3x plus 7y plus 14 is equal to 0. Yes. Students, we are comparing the circle with the general form of the circle form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f plus c. From this, so equation we have 2g is equal to minus 3 and 2f is equal to 7, here c is equal to 14, here g is equal to minus 3 by 2 and uh, f is equal to 7 by 2. Yes, f is equal to 7 by 2. Yes, center coordinates here. Center coordinates Q is equal to minus Z comma minus F. We are 3 by 2 comma minus 7 by 2. 3 by 2 comma minus 7. Radius of the circle. Yes. Radius of the circle R is equal to root of your G square plus F square minus C. Under root of G square is equal to 9 by 4 plus F square is equal to 49 by 4. And C. Here C is equal to minus 14. Yes. I am taking the simplification here under root of we are taking the same here 4 yes 9 plus uh, so 49 yes minus 14 4 job 56 yes 56 and 49 plus 9 50 yes under root of in this here 58 58 minus 56 so 2 here yeah, 2 by 4, 2 by 4 is equal to 1 to 2, 2 ja. the radius of the circle is equal to 1 by root 2, the radius of the circle is equal to 1 by root 2, okay, and uh, to calculate in the D, the perpendicular distance, the perpendicular distance, the perpendicular distance drawn from the center of the circle, to the line, yes, the line equation here, x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. From this, n is equal to 1, m is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, yes. So, to calculate the d by using the perpendicular distance for is the modulus of, in this, so 3 by 2 of 1, yes, 3 by 2 of 1, plus minus 7 by 2 of 1, and plus 1, plus 1. By root of in the sum of the squares of x coefficient and y coefficient 1 plus 1. Here in this implication here, taking the LCM here to is the modulus of here 3 minus 7 plus 2 by 2 by root 2. Yes, students, so 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 minus 7 minus 2. Here minus 2 to cancel. Here this implication is given by 1 by root 2. Yes, students, here we observe this the radius and the perpendicular distance so both are equal that means here we say that the given line is said to be a tangent to the circle yes therefore this r is equal to d what happened r is equal to d the tan the given line 
A is not tangent to the circuit. Okay. Hey, class me to tell you that the water water is here. It is here. Okay, students. Here R is equal to D means the line, the given line x plus y plus one is said to be a tangent to the circuit. Now we have to find out the point of contact coordinates. Yes, the point of contact coordinates already we know this. So minus z plus L squared by L g plus M f minus n minus f plus M o squared by L L g plus M f minus n. Yeah. So this is the formula for finding the point of contact coordinates here. Minus z plus L r squared by L g plus M f minus n minus f plus M r squared by L g plus M f minus n. Here we know this. All these values, g is there, f is there, and L m n from this uh, so given line here. The given line here uh, x plus y plus y is equal to zero. Here n is equal to one. M is equal to one. N is equal to one. Here already we know this. R is equal to one by root two. Yes, so fitting all these values here. Minus z. Yes. Yeah, g is equal to minus three by two. Minus z is equal to three by two. Three by two plus. Here n is equal to here one. And R square is equal to one by two. R is equal to one by two. R square is a one by two. By here l l is equal to one. Here g is equal to minus three by two. Minus three by two. M is equal to one. Yes, M f is equal to seven by two. Yes, seven by two. And minus n minus n is equal to one. Here minus one. And here y coordinate in that minus f. Here minus f is f is equal to seven by two. Minus f is equal to minus. Minus seven by two plus m is equal to one. R square is equal to one by two. By here, so L G plus M F minus N the same result here. So minus three by two plus seven by two minus one. And its simplification is given by three by two plus here one by two by here taking the same here two minus three plus seven here minus two. And here minus seven by two plus one by two. We are taking the LCM here too. Yes, minus three plus seven minus two. Yes, friends. Here we observe this. Here two two gets cancelled here. Okay. Now three by two plus here minus three plus minus two minus five plus seven is a one by two. Here minus seven by two plus here two two cancel. Minus three minus two minus five plus seven one by two. So finally, here both are same LCM here. Z two and three plus one. Here also LCM two minus seven plus one. And its implication three plus one four by two. Yes, four by two. Here minus seven plus one minus six by two. Finally, the point of contact coordinates are uh, so here four by two here two two one here two three here here two comma minus three. Here students. This is the process of to find out the point of contact coordinates, and before that, the line is show that the the problem is show that x plus y plus one is equal to zero touches the circuit, and also find out the point of contact coordinates. Okay, sir.